All right, let's change gears here. Wild high school parties. Nothing new, of course, even parties where police are called in. OK, so this part may be new, right? There is a trend with these parties. It really has some dangerous results. Our investigative reporter Morgan Lowe is in our newsroom with more on this story. Uh, Morgan, apparently an example of technology being used in the wrong way, right? Yeah, Olivia and Scott, teenagers are using short term rentals to throw these parties and blasting the locations out over social media platforms. And we should probably warn you that the video you're about to see is kind of jarring because these kids end up inviting a bunch of people they don't know and sometimes big trouble. Scott's the police, if anybody's inside, come out now. This is the dramatic end of a high school party gone wrong. Video from police body-worn cameras showing Scottsdale police right. guns drawn clearing a home where the party took place earlier in the night. I'm gonna clear this one. One sec. The reason police were called was also caught on video, cell phone video, but it's so graphic we had to blur most of it. Oh, oh, because it shows a brutal beating. Two teenagers attacking a third who is on the ground, appearing completely defenseless. This is an extreme example, but it is a real example of a problem police have been dealing with across the valley. And coming up tonight at 10, we're going to tell you what led up to that fight at that party and how teenagers and their parents could be held liable for wild parties like this one when they go bad, Scott. So by the way, did anybody get arrested uh, in that one? Yeah, two of the teenagers were arrested and could face assault charges. Wow, that is disturbing to it's say. It's pretty powerful when it's all on video. Right? Hard to dispute what happened. Uh, Morgan, thanks very much. Look forward to the full report.